G'day, today I'm gonna to show you a great visual way of doing long division using dots. So check this out and tell me what you think. But before we get to that, let me quickly talk about the sponsor of this video, a fantastic YouTube channel I've been watching recently. It's called Geekly EDU. Geekly EDU have lots of different video playlists covering topics right across math, statistics, biology, physics, chemistry, and economics. And even better, these guys post videos almost every day, so there's new content all the time to keep you learning. Check them out. The link to Geekly EDU is in the description, and I'll put a link up at the end of this video. Okay, say we wanted to divide the following. Say we wanted to divide 2,352 divided by 112. The first step is pretty simple. What we do is we just write this number down here, 2,352. Now beneath each one of these digits, we're gonna draw a column of dots which basically represent the value of each digit. So 2,000 here, we draw two dots. Under the 300, we draw three dots. Under the 50, we draw five dots. And under the two, we draw two dots. So let's get dividing, which we do by connecting the dots. The number we're dividing by is 112, which is a one connected to a one connected to a two. So we're gonna be filling in dots in that similar pattern. And I'll show you what I mean here, starting on the left. We have one dot connected to one dot. It's like the one and the one connected to two dots. Cool. We can stay in the thousands here and we can connect one dot to one dot to two dots. As you can see, we're progressively moving from the thousands down towards the units as we do this. So now we've run out of uh, dots in the thousands, let's move to the hundreds here and we can connect this one dot that's remaining here to this one dot in the tens to the two dots in the units. And as you can see now, we've run out of dots to uh, do, so we now we can finalize our answer. Now, first thing, we know that here is going to be where we go from having a full number answer to a decimal answer because we're dividing by a three digit number. Just a little thing you might wanna know. So we're gonna get our answer by literally counting the number of structures, the one, one, two structures that have been started going from left to right. So now let's go and get our final answer. Starting on the left here, how many structures have been started? And as you can see, we have one, two of them. And that's the first part of our answer. It's a two. Okay, so we go down to the hundreds bit. This part's already been and done, and this part's already been done, but as you can see, we have one structure that's starting there. Only one, so that's the next part of our answer, is a one. And as you can see, this is where the decimal would go, so there would be a decimal there, but what we have here is no further structures starting, so we have our answer, 21. How's that? An easy visual way of doing long division. That's cool, right? So what about I show you some more of these, because different numbers do require a slightly modified approach. So what about another question? What about you give this one a go? 157,421 divided by 121. Now you may decide to pause this video and give this one a go yourself, or maybe you're just gonna do it in real time with me right now. 157,421 divided by 121. The first thing we do is we're gonna write this big number that we're dividing down. So here goes, 157,421. Beneath that, we're gonna put those lines of dots, the columns of dots. So one here, we're gonna put five here. We're going to put seven under here. We're going to put four here, two in the tens and one unit there. Cool. And as you can see, we're dividing by 121, which is going to be one connected to a two connected to a one. So let's start putting those in. One connected to a two connected to one. One connected to two connected to one. One connected to two connected to one. One connected to two connected to one. And we've run out of space here. So we're gonna move across to where we've got the next open dot, which is down here in the hundreds part. We have one connected to two connected to one. And now we've run out of dots. So we're gonna work out our answer now. So let's do this, starting on the very left here. So as you can see, we have one that has been started here. So let's put that in. Our first part of our answer is gonna have a one in it. Now we're having a look at the uh, tens thousands part here, this 50,000 bit here. And you can see that we have one, two, three of them that have been started. So the next part of our answer is gonna have a three. Looking in the thousands column, there's no structures that have been started. So 
this is going to be a zero. In the hundreds, we have one of these structures which has been started. And that is all. That's the last structure we have. So that's the end part of our answer. And by the way, because this is a three digit number, we know that the decimal place is going to occur right here. So we know the decimal place is there and therefore our answer is 1,301. How did you go with that, okay? Okay, let's make this a bit harder now. Let's go 6,324 divided by 204. And you're going to see a couple of difficulties that come up with these. They're not too bad, you just have to work your way around them. So first off, we do exactly the same thing. We write down 6,324 and we put the corresponding dots underneath. So where we have 6,000, we put six dots. We have 300 and we have 20 and four dots under the four there. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be dividing by 204. So how do we do this? We're looking for a structure which links two dots to no dots to four dots. So how do we go about putting this here? Well, no problem. We are starting on the left here, so two dots, and we're going to skip a place over here. We're connecting to no dots, and this connects to four dots. But you can see our second problem. We only have two dots in this particular column here, but for 204, we need four of them. The way that we work with this is we're going to transform one of the dots in the previous columns into 10 dots here because that's what its value is worth. So this dot here becomes 10 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Almost ran out of room. And you might see why this becomes a bit cumbersome with certain numbers. So we can now do this to two dots, zero dots, and four dots. Easy. Let's keep going. Two dots connected to zero dots connected to four dots. We have two dots connected to zero dots connected to four dots. Okay, moving to the hundreds now. We have two dots and as you can see, we skip a place value, which is good because we have no dots in the tens value there. And we have two dots and that's going to connect to the four dots in the units there. Awesome. We've run out of dots. We can now finalize our answer. So let's do that. So starting in the thousands here, we have one, two, three structures that have been started. Uh, moving to the hundreds, we have one structure that has been started. And for the remaining ones, we have no structures. And makes perfect sense because this is a three-digit number. The decimal place will be occurring after here. So our answer is 31. So that is the visual way of working out long division. I hope you like it. There are some shortcomings to it. And if you don't believe me, try and do 33,288 divided by 57. You think you're going to have problems with dots here? Yeah, you'll get big ones when you do this one. And look, I just think it's a great little method. It's an interesting little method, but it's not applicable all the time. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, and even consider becoming a patron. Thanks once again to Geekly Edu, the sponsor of this video. They make great videos, and I highly recommend checking them out in the link that I have provided. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.